I look like I'm about to interview you. So what skills do you think you could bring to the table? I literally just finished work, so you've got a bit of work uniform today. I don't actually think I've got an update for you since the last video. I think I've just been going to work, just trying to get orders out. I've finally caught up now, which is good. I'm really, really pleased about that. Hi guys, gals, and non-binary pals. Welcome back to Budget with Ira. My name is Ira and I am on a debt-free journey. I'm on a debt-free journey because I racked up over 13,000 pounds worth of debt. Every week here on YouTube, I share my debt to pay off progress and my budget so that I can achieve my dream of owning my first home as an individual. If you would like to support me with that dream, please consider subscribing to the channel because it makes an immeasurable and huge difference. Thank you so much to everybody who has already subscribed. It means a lot. If you remember a couple videos ago, I was really, really nervous about December because we know that normally Jake and I budget together because um, we're still living together. However, um, he left his previous job to start a new job. So we were going to get half pay from one and potentially half pay from the other. So. I've budgeted for just his half pay that we know for sure he's gonna get. Um, it was a tight budget and I was really nervous about it, but I knew that we could make it work. So we both got paid and we're gonna be okay, which is good. So I'm gonna show you that. I'm also going to cash stuff. It's not gonna lie not as exciting as it normally is however it's going to be okay it's like a nice cash stuff in so we'll be all right um it's just not as much as it normally would be but times are tight got to buckle down like got to make sure that i don't add to any debt and you know it december's sad for me because i'm not gonna be paying off massive amounts of debt however i just got that thousand pounds from my parents so i did actually pay off a thousand pound overdraft so swings and roundabouts right let's go ahead and have a look at the december budget sheets okay so here we are in december's paycheck bill tracker this has december's budget that i wrote out and i was very very nervous at the time of writing it out this is also the last month that I am budgeting with Jake and going forward after this, we are going to be budgeting separately, but I'm going to be still be using a portion of his income to fund everything that we share together. So let's get started and I'll show you how much I got paid and how much Jake got paid and how that is going to affect the budget. So starting with income, I got paid 1,000, 962.30. So nominally more than what I was expecting, which is okay. Uh, it was more is always better. And then Jake got paid 624.18, which for, like to be really honest was a massive relief because I was nervous that it was gonna be less than 600. If it was less than 600, we would have really struggled to be really, really frank. So, so far we're about 56 pounds over and knowing our budget and the way that things just crop up randomly, um, I'm actually gonna leave the budget as it is. So normally what I would do is I'd then go in and start to add extra bits to sinking funds and stuff like that. But because December is what it is, and I know that we're gonna, we've both started new jobs, so we're both gonna have to like do secret Santas and things like that. I'm gonna leave that 50 pounds in the bank as a buffer because uh, we will probably need it. So I'm actually not gonna change the budget at all. Uh, the only thing that, I know will change is I will not go at overdraft fees, but I'm gonna sort of keep that as a buffer as well. So, um, this isn't gonna change. We're gonna work with this for the next four weeks. So that's cool. Let's go ahead and take a look at the envelope breakdown because what we need to do is still cash stuff. So let's go and grab that. I'm not drawing out money for Jake this month. So we're just gonna draw out the things that we really, really need to. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm just gonna list all of our categories and then I'll join you again for the cash breakdown. Okay, much shorter list this 
month because we are running it a lot tighter. So let's have a look at how we're going to break down this cash. So first off, we've got medical, which is a fiver, which we stuff every month. Uh, so that's just going to be a fiver. Then we do water. So we might as well make that a five and a 20 for the 25. My spending is a hundred pounds. So I give myself 25 pound a week. So I like to have two tens and a five every month. So that's actually going to be eight tens, four fives. For my petrol, I give myself 30 pounds a week. So that would be a 20 and a 10 every week. So that's four of each. For groceries, we have lowered our budget. So our groceries is going to be a little bit less. So we're going to do 45 pounds a week and see how that goes. So that's actually going to be two 20s and a five. So we're going to have eight 20s and four fives. And for a haircut, I'm gonna have a 20 and a 10 just to give to the barber. So all of those fives come to 10 fives, which should be 50 pounds. 13 tens, which is 130. And 14 twenties, which should be 280. So this is bad maths. I used to calculate for this and still didn't get it right. So it should be on 460, 460, spot on. I'm gonna go and take this to the bank before I make any more mistakes. I will see you when I have returned. Okay, so back from the bank, let's get this cash. Let's get started. Should have had 10 fives, which is five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. That's 10 of them. Then I should have 130 pounds at tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. And 14 twenties. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fantastic. So we have the binder here. Let's get stuff in all of this cash. So let's start with the sinking funds. So medical is the first one that comes up and we are doing five pounds. So let's do that. I just like to keep that, even though this is the last time I'm budgeting with Jake, I'm just gonna keep that and give it to him next month, just so, so I know what I'm doing. Just makes it easier for me in my head. Car maintenance isn't getting stuffed because we just can't afford it, which is fine. Um, I'll just make up for it next month. And then water, we are doing 25. So now in water, we have 125. I think I'll be getting the bill next month. So that'd be interesting to see how much that's gonna be. So moving over to weekly cash, groceries. So first off, groceries is gonna be 45 pounds a week. So for groceries, we, do eight twenties, is that right? Yeah, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then four fives, one, two, three, four. So for this week, I'm stuffing them into a blue Christmas groceries envelopes. Watch this magic. Ah, I love how these work, love it. So that's my 45 pounds for this week stuffed into groceries. And the remainder gets kept for future weeks because I cannot trust myself with the bulk of money at the start of the month. I have learned. That is that stuffed. Let's move over to petrol. So petrol, we do four twenties and four tens. I've got a December exclusive pink envelope. So I give myself a 20 and a 10. So I'm just going to go and stuff that. Look at that. 
beaut. Okay, that's that stuffed. And the remainder goes in the petrol envelope. Okay, moving on to spending. So it's eight tens, four fives. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And four fives, one, two, three, four. So my spending is going into a yellow midi December exclusive envelope this month, which I am super excited about. So let's put that in there. Oh, I love that. Like, isn't that just lovely? And then the remainder goes in my envelope. Okay, that is the binder all done and dusted. So let's put that away. And then what I have remaining is 30 pounds, which is my haircut money. So that will get put into my car, ready for when I'm ready to get a haircut, which should be in a week or two. Thanks for sticking with me. Um, I know it wasn't the biggest or best cash stuffing I've ever done, but times are tight and sometimes you don't get to stuff a lot of money, but it's important that we stuff in the right places. So yeah, thanks for sticking with me this week. Oh, hi, didn't see you there. <laughs> Stupid. Hi guys, girls and on my pals. Thank you so much for getting through to the end of the video. You know I love it when you get to, to the end of the video. This is a middle of the week bonus video. So I'm not gonna talk to you about Etsy income. I'm not gonna talk to you about my budget and how I'm checking in for the week. And that, yeah, not really gonna do much today. So, um, sorry. Next video we've got is the check-in for week one of December's budget. So that's coming out on Friday. Today's Wednesday, so Thursday, Friday, two days. So I will see you in two days. I love it when you comment on these videos. I make sure I read every single comment and I always respond. So if you could comment on this video and leave this emoji, that would be amazing. So I'll see you in two days. Have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful week. Have a wonderful budget. I'll see you in two days. See you soon, bestie. Bye-bye. I recently shared with my Patreon members the design that's coming out for January's cash envelopes and budget sheets, and I'm so excited about it. Um, if you would like a sneak peek and if you would like to get in an order really early for new cash envelopes for January for a fresh new start, make sure that you check out the link in the description below to become a wonderful Patreon member. You will not regret it, bestie.